In Sea of Thieves, when deciding which cannon you want to use on your ship, you might end up cycling through all the options to see which one is best, but end up sucking at all of them. Some cannons can help you improve your aim, and meanwhile others look cool, but in actuality just drastically slow down your progress. How are you supposed to know which is which, and how can you improve your aim so well that you have perfect range with every cannon out there? If you want to start in your journey to have good aim, we should go all the way back to step 1 with the cannon that every single Sea of Thieves player has. Before you even think about touching any other cannon cosmetic in game, you need to learn cannon aim with the default Sailor Cannon. But why? Those are nasty and super common and don't go with my ship. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. You'll learn the ways of simplicity. It's all in the design of the cannon itself. The Sailor Cannon has three rings on its design that actually can be used to estimate the correct range of your shot. Depending on how far your enemy ship is, you'll want to line up a specific ring to the boat. There's the farthest ring, the middle ring, and the nearest ring. Each ring will serve as markers for generally how high you should aim your cannon in relation to how far away the boat is. Here's how you should use them. If you're fighting a ship that is decently close to you, you should line up the boat, or the direction it's going, with the furthest ring of your cannon. Your cannon will be in a low position to cause some holes in the enemy's hole. If the boat is a medium-sized distance from you, then line up the middle ring to the boat, and if they're far away, line up the furthest ring to the boat. If you're not sure which ring to line up to the boat, decide the two you're most confident in, and then test the two out. Then whichever one hits, go off of that one. Obviously, you won't get hits 100% of the time that you line your shots with the rings, but it'll give you the general direction in which to shoot for maximum accuracy. Once you've practiced with the sailor cannons for a while and hit at least 70 to 80% of your shots with it, then we can move on to stage two. You can either keep the sailor cannons since they're the perfect chef's kiss cannon, Cannon, or you can start to think about using other cannons for your ship. But don't sprint to the ship right and immediately equip the cannons of Suck and Sorrow. If you use these, click off this video right now because you have more problems than just aim. You need to know the difference between the cannons you should use and the cannons you should stay away from. When looking at the sailor cannons, the tip of the cannon, which is what you see when aiming, is a short distance away from the center of the muzzle itself, where the cannon comes out. This is the optimal condition in what you want your cannon cosmetic to be, because when aiming with the tip of the cannon, you'll have the most accurate shots since there isn't a large distance between where you can see and where the cannon and shoots out. In contrast, take the coral cannon, the thing you should never touch. Even though it looks cool, nah, I'm just kidding, it looks like shit. The tip of the cannon cosmetic has a much farther distance away from the center of the muzzle where the cannon comes out of, compared to the distance from the sailor cannon. So when you use the tip of the coral cannon to aim, the cannon trajectory will be at a lower angle than you thought because the distance in front of the cannon is larger. So when you're trying to find the right cannon to use, try to find the right balance between fitting your ship's design and the distance from the tip of the cannon cosmetic to the center of the muzzle. Not only should you worry about that, but the cannon cosmetic you have could distract you if there are unnecessary objects adding to your view on either side, like the Relic of Darkness cannons that have unnecessary feathers on them that can distract you. With enough time, you'll get a feel for how every cannon should be shot, and you'll be sinking ships in no time. And also follow me on my Twitch where I might be streaming Sea of Thieves right now, and if you want more tips on how to improve your cannon aim, then how about you click on this video right here and learn all about it.